hey guys this is KD and welcome to gettutorials.com I've made this bot for Robocon Junior and this is a remote let's check out some functions forward, backward, left, right, arm up, arm down and carry catch out for the tutorial the basic thing you need to build a robot is a chassis and this is a basic chassis I brought this chassis from Vega Robo Kit. This is very sturdy one. Here are some of the accessories you may need. This is the front support, which will support the caster wheel. There's some nuts and bolts, some motors. Now this is a BO1 motor. This is 300 RPM. We need two for them for the tires, and I'll tell you this is a BO2 motor. I'll tell you later on for what purpose we are using this obviously tires a couple of wires you also need a set of 8 wires try to keep this wire at least 3 meter long a 9 volt battery an old battery connector a few cable ties some metal strips which we will be using later connector strip we need 3 DPDT switches may look something like this and a case for them which closes like this now we can fix them you may get this assembly from Vega RoboKit now to clamp the wire and the switches we need some plugs here we go it goes like this and some screwdrivers or pliers Now to begin with the building of this robot, let's first assemble this chassis. Now take this clamp and hold it right under it and then attach it by nuts and bolts. Our chassis is ready now. Now let's come to these motors. These are BO1 motors, and this is a BO2 motor with a clamp around here. So we'll fix this motor right there. And let's go ahead and solder this. Okay, now let's go ahead and fix these motors in our chassis
After you have completed two fix the motors, try to bring up these wires. Now let's go ahead and connect these tires. Okay, now let's go ahead and put on this connector strip over here. This is a 12 slot connector strip, but we'll be needing only 8. And if you want, you may cut off the remaining other two. Let's go ahead. Now to finish with our assembly of our robot, I've made this arm sort of thing with some metal strips as you get in the market and this is a VO2 motor this is basically 60 rpm motor now the thing is I am going to fix this motor right over here and this fitting goes right into the shaft of the motor so this arm rotates up and down like this so firstly I am going to fix this but if you fix this and this this is not able to rotate freely because this thing is overlapping the height of this so I will use some washers to increase the height of this from the body of the chassis. Now to grab the ball you need some sort of clamp over here so it will close and open again so if you check out here there is no hole and there is lot of holes so to fix this right over here I will bring in a cable tie so just try to insert it Keep on tightening that thing. Okay, and now it closes perfectly. You may cut off the extra part. So, here we go. The assembly part of the robot is complete. Now since we have completed the assembly of robot, let's come to the switch connections. Now before we actually go to the switch connections, let me show something. Now this is a motor and this is a battery, this is the shaft which rotates. Now if I go ahead and connect this, notice the shaft moves in a certain direction. In this case it is anti-clockwise. Now what if I want to rotate the shaft of this motor in the clockwise direction? I basically or just simply reverse the polarities notice it is moving in the clockwise direction so this 
principle of reversing the polarities that is reversing the direction of the shaft is used in taking a bot in forward or backward direction so this is one motor which will go in the forward direction and this is the backward direction hence to reverse the direction of the shaft of the motor rotating shaft of the motor we use a reversal switch we call it as a dpdt switch dpdt stands for double pull double throw now you can see this switch has six connections now let me explain you how this thing works imagine these are the six points on the switches now if we go ahead and connect a battery that is a power source and a motor over here so on these two points i have connected this motor and these two points i have this battery now when i go ahead and press this these two things get activated and current flows in a certain direction and the shaft of the motor is rotated in a certain direction now when i leave this these two things are no longer in contact and so the motor stops rotating now what if i want to reverse the direction of the shaft of the motor i simply change the polarities so now when i press this these two things get activated and the current is flowing in the opposite direction and the shaft is rotated in the opposite direction as simple as that so this is the reason why you have to given uh, they have given you six points we have three motors on board so we need an array of three switches that is 18 different connections to move our bot back and forth now let's go ahead and connect the wires of the motors to the connector strip now please remember while you are using this connector strip also tighten the insulation of this wire in the screws You can tie the battery here with the help of a cable tie. Just cut off the extra part. So from the other side we have connected our motors and from this side we will be connecting our set of 8 wires red to the left and white to the right and the other end of this wire the other end of this whole wire will be going to our switch box let's just go ahead and connect this
there you go you have connected both the sides of a connector strip and you have nothing to do on the bot now all you have to do is on the remote that is we have to solder some points now based on the same DPDD explanation I have soldered all the three switches and provided the same power source in the central points of all the three switches now if you don't have soldered no need to worry you can have these types of clips and you can grab the insulation out here but still if you have solder you may also solder these points over here to this clip for better contact as you need better contact for low voltages like this as this is a 9 volt battery and just assemble this so your remote is ready and your connection is to the connector strip so in short your bot shall be ready by now